Hey traders, market starts again with a very big gap down. S&P and Nasdaq down more than 1%. Now I'm looking at cost and cost is down 6%. Even without market help, cost should come down because it should be a gap and go. It started with a big gap down, tried to move higher, failed. It's reversing right now and I'm about to short, shorting now 2,000 shares, expecting it to move down under the lows. So even without market help, it should come down. But of course, if the market will come down, if the continued crash will continue, then well, you know what? This should be a great trade anyway. So I'm up 12 grand, small pullback and I'm taking my partial right now leaving 200 shares this was a classic gap and go very nice one big gap down to start with and then a reversal same idea with TGT shorting right now 2000 shares why because the stock is down 23 percent it's likely to become a gap and go and I do have I still have market direction on my side always trust your trend the market is coming down and now TGT is coming down with the market even without market help it should have came down and it does I'm up five grand six grand seven grand touching a new low which is my target right over here small sign of a pullback now and I'm leaving 200 shares just cover the rest and anyway this was a nice trade now look at Facebook I'm shorting here 2000 shares now why do I do that I'm shorting Facebook because the market just tried to move higher and failed look at the S&P 500 you can see some topping tails here it tried to move higher lots of stocks moved higher with the market I kept trusting market direction I was looking for shorts now um, you know Facebook is likely now to come down with the market but look at GME GME moved up with the market and I just had a failing trade I shorted it right over there and I moved out before the highs and then over the highs and that's again why I moved into Facebook right now and look at the result Facebook just came down the market continued to come down this is the end of the trading session very close to the end of the trading session I'm up nine grand and I'm moving out of this trade right now so Facebook was a great trade because it continued to come with the S&P 500. S&P came down and look at the result. I'm up $25,000 today with several good trades. Jimmy is the, my only loser, the one I showed you earlier. I also had a small winner in Microsoft and uh, in Boeing but the end result is just absolutely amazing. So many green trades, five green trades, one losing trade. Just trusted the S&P 500 to continue down. Now take a look at the S&P 500. It's a huge move down over four percent Nasdaq is down the S&P is down yesterday we had a very strong upside day but again don't trust the market especially on options expiration weeks now this is an option expiration week uh, options are expiring on Friday it's the third Friday of the month that's when you have option expiration and normally the big moves are made anywhere between Tuesday to Thursday more likely Tuesday and Wednesday which is today so the big move means that the market is expected to make a big move to the point where the option writers will not lose money you know if you're buying calls because you think the crash is over and then the the people who sold you the calls are likely to lose money well that's not the case it's just not gonna work out this way option writers are some of the best traders in the world and they will not lose they will move the market or help move the market to the point where your options will expire worthless and this is what happened today they move the market down by four percent and you likely if you bought call options you're likely to lose they're not likely to lose they do sometimes but anyway on option expirations day trust the trend trust the move and I trusted it and that's why I'm up $25,000 today and I hope you like this video and I hope it I hope it ha helped you learn a little bit more and if you did please give me a like and do remember trading is extremely hard and most traders do lose money I'm very experienced and my past performance my past results are not um, any any indication to what a new trader is likely to make at the beginning of the trading career start with the demo there's plenty of links right here below to a Colmex demo platform the same platform I'm trading I think it's the world's best platform and plenty of other links and thank you very much for joining there is a subscribe button right here and hit on the notification bell if you want to be notified of my future uploads thank you very much for watching I'll see you in my next video